Good morning and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. All week long we've been looking at Bible passages that seek to give us assurance in our age of anxiety. By the time this week is over, I believe we will have looked at 12 of them, but I don't want you to think that these 12 are all the Bible has to say on the topic. In fact, that was the surprise for me as I began to plan talking about this topic. The verses were so many and numerous that it ended up that I needed to pick and choose among them. Just Google Bible passages about anxiety and you can read pretty much for the rest of the day. God knew this would be something we struggle with. And so over and over, God offers us assurance and calls us to depend on God to see us through. Doing so is called trust, and that's hard for us. We are reared to be independent, and we don't easily admit our need for God. Perhaps a good example? Prayer is often our last resort instead of our first. God knew this about us, and so over and over again, God gives us comfort and assurance. Many have that passage at the end of Isaiah 40 as one of their favorites. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. These words are often so comforting in the midst of a struggle as they call us once again to trust in God and in God to rise above our fears. Our final two passages come from the Psalms. I find the Psalms endlessly fascinating and since many of them are prayers or are so songs to God, I think, each of, of them, I think of each of them as our words to God through which we hear God's word to us. The Psalms often address real issues of life and faith in honest ways. They don't shirk from the realities or difficulties, worries, fears, and more. In the midst of all that reality, the call is to trust in God. David wrote Psalm 27, and it's easy to remember him as a shepherd boy facing wolves and lions with nothing but a staff to protect him and his flock. And yet David's faith was strong in God. And perhaps as he reflected on his experience with the sheep, or perhaps his experience facing the overwhelming odds against Goliath, he wrote, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? What David knew, what we should know, is that with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. Things might still not go the way we want them, but we can remain strong throughout because we are with God. God is our stronghold, and God has a stronghold on us. What is there to fear? Our last passage for this week is a particular kind of psalm. Most Jews didn't go to Jerusalem every year, but they went there to worship and sacrifice as often as they could. Typically, they traveled in groups, and to pass the time as they made their way to Jerusalem, they would sing psalms and hymns together. Since the point of going was to worship in the temple, Many of their songs were about looking forward and preparing themselves for going to the temple. And since Jerusalem sits on a hill, to get there one had to go up. And these psalms became known as Psalms of Ascent, as they ascended up toward Jerusalem. All week long we have talked about the passages offering us assurance in our age of anxiety. We have talked about the assurance we have in God, which is so much more than all of our worries and fears. Perhaps Psalm 121, one of those psalms of ascent, sums it up best. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. 
We may look all kinds of places for help and hope, but true help and hope come only from God. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.